Things are crazy here right now. It is Sunday and the wind and the rain has picked up again. So more trees are falling and um, my landlord's over here and so is a tree removal crew because they have to remove two trees on the property that most likely will come down today by natural forces if they are not removed. So it's noisy, it's loud, there are people running around that I don't know. Crazy, crazy, crazy day. I've been doing errands and I come home to this and it's just like, I just wanna relax, yo. This feels so good. I've got a nice steamy bath. I've got a sheet mask on. It's just been so crazy. There have been so many people on the grounds, including both of the landlords, and everyone's running around kind of freaking out. And so I was like, uh. No, everything is okay. I'm in my happy place, doing something that I like to my face. That rhymed. I forgot to tell you guys when I first uploaded my um, weekly vlog, which was like weekly vlog number three, before it even went live, I got a copyright hit. And that's basically when um, another creator or company um, flagged your video for copyright abuse. It hadn't even been viewed. That's something fishy about it. But the person in question that flagged my video was Jamie Oliver. Yeah, the British celebrity chef, Jamie Oliver what and it got flagged for visual content meaning that i must have stolen something from jamie oliver's channel and the clip in question was from 20 minutes and 14 seconds to 20 minutes and 50 seconds of my last weekly vlog and i'm gonna show you guys <laughs> what that content was and you can judge whether or not i stole that from celebrity british chef jamie oliver apparently Jamie Oliver is trying to claim a visual content match and a copyright infringement for this section of my weekly vlog. Are you kidding me? Does that look plagiarized? Does that look like anything remotely that he would have produced? The fact that that got flagged before it even went up makes me like think foul play. Why are you coming after my tiny ass channel scraping for the few bucks I would have made off of that vlog? Because when someone dings your copyright, all the revenue will go to the person in question if the copyright claim is valid. So I'm just like, mm, that's not gonna stand. Oh, hell no. So I contested it and it got resolved rather quickly, but it was still just like the weirdest thing to happen today. And there's been a lot of weird stuff that's happened. Anyways, I brought a book in here because I have resolved myself to finish this stupid book by the end of this freaking challenge. And it's just been sitting underneath my dresser this entire time. And it's one of those books that I started, forgot that I started and don't really want, but I don't want to discard it without you know, reading it all the way through. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do that. Peace out, see you guys tomorrow. Today is Monday. The uh, tree removal guys came back this morning and I don't know if you can see behind me, but that big yellow thing, that's a wood chipper. And they're still using um, chainsaws to take down the other tree and so I cannot think in that house right now. I'm gonna go and seek some refuge in Starbucks because those butterscotch lattes, I'm telling you man, those things were so good. <sighs> I'm becoming more basic as the days go on but I'm gonna go there and I am going to read the crappy book that I started reading in the bath last night and see how far I can get with that. And hopefully by the time that I come back, they'll be done with all their work and I can actually think. Today has been 
exhausting. I had all that tree drama, I had work, I also um, helped out memes, so I helped her get her medication and all this other stuff and I am completely exhausted. So I was going to impart some wisdom on you guys today, but I haven't have, I, I do not have the brains for it as shown by that previous scramble of a sentence. So I'm going to be talking to you guys tomorrow about some observations I made about rewatching last week's vlog that I didn't really touch on because it kind of just dawned on me today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. It is day three of tree removal. Three days of people running past my windows and obnoxious grinding sounds. I can't take it anymore so I am I'm am getting out of the house and I'm taking stink bug to the dog park and hopefully it's not going to be raining over in East Lake even though it is here right now when it's sunny. It's, it's, we've got some interesting weather happening right now. Well, it looks like they're closed, so I guess we're just gonna walk around the mall then. was closed. We got it and we did some fun stuff. I actually bought a few things at the mall, but I made sure to go to locally owned shops or locally owned farmers. I picked up a pint of fresh strawberries, which are all falling out of their basket here uh, from a local farmer and I can't wait to do stuff with them. And I also got Gertrude some stuff because she's been, you know, stuck inside because of the rain and she's really bored. So I decided to get her a treat and um, she's probably gonna go crazy when I pull this out, but I got her a small squeaky ball. There we go. She hasn't won this a size for a head, but it's not as much fun because she gets to pull the fluff on the little one. It was a fun little outing. The um, farmer's market there was mostly just food stalls, not a lot of farmers. And as much as I love trying ethnic foods, like they had a Jamaican jerk chicken hut, and they had um, Japanese, they had Mediterranean, they had Kenyan food out of all things, which was pretty cool. Um, I really do like being able to go there and buy farm fresh produce because... I can make whatever I want with it and it just generally tends to be more delicious and sometimes cheaper than the stuff at the supermarket. Speaking of which, I do have to go grocery shopping. Grocery shopping. Cannot talk and um, talk to you guys later. Good morning. I decided to utilize some of those strawberries I got yesterday and I made a very fancy breakfast. Here it is. It's a six grain cereal that I got at Sprouts of the Bulk section and um, all the strawberries are very pretty and this pink stuff here which is also throughout the entire mix itself is actually silken tofu blended with a little bit of honey and some of the extra strawberries and there's also some honey on top of here so it's just a nice hearty breakfast and I can't wait to tuck into this so I'm looking a little rough right now because um, I'm going through another depressive episode hooray it kind of kicked in yesterday and um, I've been feeling very low energy, very blah, just not very enthusiastic about anything. So I'm just doing what I can to, to combat it and I'm gonna be cleaning my room later and everything. Um, but I did get some mail today and I was like 100% sure that I canceled all my subscription services, but apparently the Birchbox one kind of snuck through there at the end. So now I'm here with a box of samples that I don't know what to deal with. So um, I guess we can go through them together? I don't know. So here's what the box looks like. It's, you know, kind of like New Year, New Year theme, I guess. 
Um, the reason why I decided to cancel all of my subscription services to like Ipsy and Birchbox and everything is because, you know, I just, I was getting too much junk I knew I was never going to use from brands I didn't know and things I didn't like. I'd much rather, you know, save the 10 or $20 a month and just put that money towards something that I know that I'm going to like or something that I'm actually curious about. I honestly have no idea what is in here since I haven't been on my Birchbox, Birchbox dashboard. And hello, Gertie. Hi, we just went outside. Can you can you give me some space here, please? I gotta, I gotta show people these things. Here is what we've got. This first thing here is from Real Chemistry. It's a luminous three minute peel for your body, I guess. That's interesting. I've used facial peels quite frequently, but I think this would be an excellent thing to try out since I do tend to get a buildup of dead skin on my um, shoulders and everything. That's something that I never would have thought about buying, but it's, yeah, it's, I guess it's pretty cool. I have something from Wish. This is shave cream. I probably will use this, to be honest, since I have my Merker safety razor. I've been using um, kind of like a moisturizing soap so I'll use this and then get rid of the packaging when it's finished up. This thing I'm actually really excited about. Here I am saying, you know, oh, I don't want these subscription services anymore because they don't contain anything. I want junk, blah, blah, blah. This box has been a very good box so far. Uh, this is a eyeliner pencil from Ico. I've been meaning to try this brand out for a long time. So I'm really excited about that. None of this is changing my opinion. I'm still not going to resubscribe to any of these services. Um, let's see, I have a hydrating shampoo. I do not need this. I am going to donate that. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, oh my god, hydrating collagen eye pads. These are like sheet masks for your under eyes. Dude, I am freaking stoked. This is so far the best freaking birch box I've ever got. And let's see what's in this little foil packet. This is the accompanying conditioner for the shampoo. I'm going to be donating that. And then let's see. I just have this little sample from Benefit of their Total Moisture Facial Cream. I'm pretty sure that I've tried this, unless this is like a brand new product, but I've tried most of their skincare line and I really wasn't that impressed with it. So I'm going to be passing this along. So out of all of those items, I'm keeping the shave cream, the collagen eye pads, the skinny um, liquid eyeliner and the body peel and hello Gertrude um, and everything that I'm going to be getting rid of is the little foil packet of the um, Benefit Total Moisture Facial Cream and the shampoo and conditioner. These are going to end up at either like a, a women's shelter or pass along to a friend if they need them. I am relatively fresh out of the bath. Did a little bit of self-care, feeling a little bit better but still pretty meh, you know. You know, the whole depression thing. I ended up using a lot of what I kept from that box. Um, the shaving cream, it was okay. It didn't do any better or any worse than the soap. So whatever, I guess I'll use it up. Um, it has a lavender scent, but it's really weird because it kind of smells like it is mixed with like a cinnamon bun. The body exfoliator thing worked pretty well. It had those nasty ropes of like human dead skin that would come out from just, you know, friction. Fun to watch, but also pretty gross to look at. And then of course I'm working with these collagen pads. They don't have a lot of essence in them, but they're still nice and cooling. I'm really proud of myself for being able to take part in some self-care while I'm feeling depressed. Normally I would just lounge around in bed all day and not do anything, so I feel like I'm handling this relatively well. And um, you know, I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit and then try to go ahead and be productive by editing all the footage from today and yesterday and the day before. It's gonna be a lot. And also checking in on memes. Talk to you guys later. Today I ended up oversleeping by about four hours. I haven't done that at all this month and um that's kind of when I know I'm in an episode like I got over 12 hours of sleep last night I don't want to be sleeping all the time like sleeping my life away because that just means that I'm hella depressed I'm not feeling like deeply depressed like I was last time but I'm still feeling a little unmotivated normally I'm really irresponsible about everything when I'm depressed but um yesterday I did a pretty good job I, uh, I went grocery shopping. I didn't buy any, you know, shitty foods for comfort. Instead, I bought ingredients to make comfort food that isn't really that unhealthy. 
like today I've just basically been living off of um, like a tofu tikka masala thing that I made and it is so good. But I had it with brown rice and I'm feeling you know, nourished and good and not disgusted with myself or, you know, sick to my stomach or anything. So I'm really happy about that. I'm hoping tomorrow will be better because that's when I have to get all this footage edited and try to put up and all that other fun stuff for YouTube. But um, I've been putting this off for a few days and um, I basically wanted to talk about how being so upfront and honest and just candid about all of my issues on camera in front of what's now amounted to thousands of views in one month, it has really helped me become a more confident person. I'm no longer running and hiding from my problems with myself and everything, and I really like what this entire experiment has done. I expected it to just change my opinions and my feelings about items and what I own and what I don't need to own, but instead it's actually taken a huge positive toll on how I perceive myself. And it's given me more confidence than I could have ever imagined. Like I'm actually going out and doing things multiple times a week and not hermiting inside because most of the time I just don't really wanna leave the house if I don't have to because I'm insecure about, you know, the way I look, my body, my skin, everything. But you know, after facing all these issues on camera and exposing them to the world, it's just like, Nobody can hold this shit against me anymore. I've already owned up to it. I can do this. If they want to make fun of me, well, fuck them. I am okay with everything now. If they want to make a deal out of it, it's their problem. That's a very unexpected therapeutic part of this experiment that I am so happy that I've managed to achieve. So once again, I just want to really thank all of my viewers all of you guys that are subscribed or all those people that are just casually watching and thank you guys so much for your support and your viewership and everything because that's definitely helped. I have made so many positive impressions and so many people have made positive impressions on me and I just love reading through comments and it's just, it's amazing, it's magical. You guys are freaking amazing. Thank you so much for being here with me throughout this whole experience. It's made a world of difference. It's Saturday and um, at this point in the experiment, I feel like I have gleaned everything that I possibly can from it. Right now I'm feeling a little bit more anxious and annoyed than I am like happy and zen about it. And that's not because, you know, I'm pissed off because I don't have enough things. Like I'm totally happy <laughs> with whatever I've allotted myself. I've actually gotten rid of several things throughout this process but I am feeling anxious and kind of just angry that I can't touch the rest of my items because I want to declutter them that badly like I want to get the ball rolling and um, since I've already decided on extending my extreme minimalism experiment vlogs by another week so there will be five instead of four all next week as in tomorrow Sunday through next Saturday I am going to be doing decluttering because allotting myself only like what four days instead of a full seven to declutter all of my belongings seems a little bit insane instead of leaving all my stuff in the garage or various closets that it stashed throughout the house I'm going to be bringing it in tomorrow on Sunday and I'm going to be starting my decluttering process then instead of on um, February 1st. This is making me anxious. It's taunting me even though I have this closed most of the time. Just knowing that it's there is bothering the hell out of me. This box here is also full of my stuff. Right there I have some makeup that I'm already decluttered prior to this. All this other stuff is... You know, it belongs to my housemates, not me. All of this stuff right here, all these boxes, boxes, desk box. This mattress is mine. All of these boxes, there's like a table there and another chest of drawers and some more boxes that are mine. And then this is also mine that I completely forgot that I had. This is why I'm kind of going through things today and making a mental note. So that needs to be dealt with. I have some stuff over there and the rest of my items are in here. So I have a lot of shit to go through and trying to go through all of that in only four days is just not reasonable. So next week's vlog is going to be a little bit hectic. There's gonna be a lot of clutter everywhere, but um, basically all I'm going to be doing next week is decluttering things, seeing what I can donate, seeing what I can sell, seeing what needs to be, you know, recycled or disposed of, seeing what I need to give to friends, blah, 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 blah. It's gonna be a lot different than um, the past four vlogs. 
So brace yourself. Mm -hmm.